Father God, I come to you today and I ask you, Father God, to hear our request. In Philippians 4 and 6, you told us to be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Today, Father God, we make our requests known to you for strength and encouragement during these times in our lives. We are bringing to you our fears and our frustrations. There have been so many things that have gone on in this world and around our nation that have caused many to fear, many to turn away from you and to distrust you, Father God. Many families are scared and afraid. Some families are dealing with unemployment, violence in their homes and in their streets. Some are dealing with not knowing whether or not they're going to eat today or where their next meal is coming from. Some have been evicted and have no place to go. Others may be dealing with sickness and disease and others are dealing with famine. We know that none of these things are from you. This is not your will to see your people perish or to go without, to lack any good thing. So today, Father God, we lift up our voices to you and we pray to you, Father God, that you will heal our land, that you will bring us back to a place in trusting you. You are bringing us back to a place of resting in you. You're bringing us back to a place where we will lift up our hands, lifting up our eyes to you, Father God, and to heaven. Father God, right now we stand before you, repenting of everything that we have done to displease you. We're asking you, Father God, to search our hearts. And if there is any wayward way in us, Father God, please, we ask you right now to remove it in the name of Jesus. Anything that causes your heart to grieve, we ask you right now to take it away from us. We ask you to create in us a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within us according to your holy word in Psalms 51 and 10. Remove all fear in us concerning the times we're in according to Psalms 23 and 4, that you are with us and we should fear not. It says, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Thank you, God, for giving us your comforter, the Holy Spirit. We ask right now for the Holy Spirit to lead and guide us into all truths and to lead us during these times that we're in. Tell us what to do, where to go. Tell us who to talk to, Father God. And God, as you told us in Isaiah 41 and 10, to fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I believe that God is strengthening many families right now as they begin to lift up their heads and their hearts towards God. He is strengthening us to withstand during these times. You said that you will never leave us nor forsake us, God, and we take you at your holy word. Father God, you told us in Psalms 56 and 3, whenever we are afraid, we will trust in you. According to Psalms 55 and 22, cast your burden on the Lord. He shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. We are not moved because you are with us. And we give all of our burdens to you, O oh God, right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We will fear not, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.